Hey guys, it's Jamie from Yarnybox, and in today's video, I'm gonna see how many things can I crochet in one hour. So today, I'm going to be making a bunch of little mice. This is a free pattern on my blog, and I am making these in honor of my new pattern release today, which was Bobby the Cat. He is a little kitty. And the cat pattern does also come with the mice pattern, so he can have a little friend to hold on your shelf or in your bed or wherever you're placing your cat. And so in honor of Bobby, we are making mice today. This is also going to double as a really good market prep for me because I have a market next Friday and I don't have a lot of little stuff, so I'm going to make a bin full of mice and hopefully they'll do well. I get asked for mice and rodents all the time, which is really strange in my opinion. I don't know why anyone wants a little mouse friend, but... Hey, whatever. <laughs> the yarn that I picked out for this, I picked out four different colors. I'm not sure how many mice I'm going to be able to make, but I've got purple in Parfait Chunky. I don't know why. I literally picked the worst schemes possible. These are so messy and tangled. <laughs> but I've got purple, pink, and then brown and gray. These are Sweet Snuggles Light, and the other two were Parfait Chunky. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start the timer and then I'll put it on the shelf behind me so that you guys know I'm not cheating. I really don't know how many I'm gonna be able to make, so let's see. Okay, first of all, we have to untangle this mess. Again, I don't know why I chose this yarn. I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook for this. I use a five millimeter for both Parfait Chunky and Sweet Snuggles Light, even though uh, Parfait Chunky is quite a bit thinner than Sweet Snuggles Light. I don't know, it's just what I do. I don't even have a 4.5 hook, so maybe I should get one of those. Okay, starting off with four. I'm gonna do four increases. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. I feel like I'm like racing someone, but I'm not gonna win any awards, so I don't know why I'm so <laughs> frantic about this. Where is my stitch marker? I don't normally use stitch markers. I normally use like a scrap piece of yarn. Or... Yeah, I just kind of wing it sometimes, but I'm definitely gonna be using a stitch marker for this because I'm distracted and also stressed out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stressed out. Okay. I also normally count stitches after each round, but I'm not gonna be doing that today because I don't have time for that. So if these mice come out wonky, gonna have wonky mice. I'm gonna have to give them away to people. So as I said, the mice is a free pattern on my website and uh, if you sign up for my email list you do get a free pattern every two weeks. This week I'm actually gonna be changing it to a free pattern every week. So if you guys want notifications whenever I release patterns then sign up for my email list. I lost count already. Okay. <laughs> I need to just relax. I don't know why I'm so like... <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to stop and count these stitches because I'm convinced this is not right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, it is right. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Good to go. My hands probably look so crazy in this sped up version of this video. Like, they. <laughs> probably looks like I'm trying to start a fire with my crochet hook when it's sped up. which I'm excited about. I'm hoping the weather is going to be good. The weather here has been really strange this summer. It's been really hot and really dry, but then lately for the past week or so, it's had really severe thunderstorms in the evening. Um, and then today it was really, really smoky. So 
normally the weather isn't like a huge concern on my mind but this summer has just been really weird for weather so i'm really hoping that next friday will be good uh hopefully it'll be sunny and not pouring rain <laughs> and also not super smoky because I can't really cut anything out because you guys are gonna think I'm cheating if I'm like cutting out huge segments so I feel like I can't really mess up what I'm saying either um so we'll see we'll see how this video goes beady little black mouse eyes eight minutes and a 40 this guy looks a little funny. I don't know how I feel about the hot pink mouse, but that's okay. His little nose. Let me shape out his round little bod. Little mouse bod. So I just finished reading this book called Force Wing, and if you guys have read that book, please let me know your thoughts below. It's a high fantasy novel about dragon riders. Lately, I've been on a high fantasy kick, and that's pretty much all I've been reading. Um, I read Akotar, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas a couple years ago. Uh, maybe it was last year, but... Ever since then, I can't stop reading high fantasy, which is funny because the only high fantasy I really read before that was like Twilight and Harry Potter when I was in junior high and, and elementary school or whenever it came out. But yeah, I just read Fourth Wing and it was, it was okay. It was a really good like premise of a book. It has a lot of potential, but I found that the characters were just like really hollow. Um, but it's one of those like viral book talk books that is becoming really popular right now So I'm very interested if any of you guys have read it. Please let me know what you think below I do think it has potential to be a good book if the sequel has a lot of depth to it And it really like goes into the character storylines But right now I'm just feeling like I don't really know anything about any of the characters and the author mentioned like so many times like oh this character is so like dark and has demons and it's like okay well what demons like what like there's there's not a lot of um there's not a lot of depth to them so i'm interested in what you guys think about that book and if you guys have any book recommendations leave them down below is my mouse body done um like I said, I really like Sarah J. Mass books. Uh, the Throne of Glass series and Crescent City are so good. Crescent City, I think, comes out maybe next spring, and I cannot wait for the third book of that. Sorry. <laughs> Looking at the pattern. It's hard to talk and read a pattern at the same time. But yeah, what kind of books do you guys like reading? That's pretty much how I spend my whole day crocheting. If I, uh, like if I'm just spending a whole day crocheting, I usually read books on Audible. So it's productive because I can listen to them and also crochet at the same time. I find it better than just watching mindless TV, which I also love mindless TV, don't get me wrong. But it's not good to just sit there and watch TV for hours and hours and hours. So I like to listen to Audible books. I have a ton of Audible books on my account. I have like over a hundred, um, but I'm always looking for new recommendations. So let me know what books you guys are reading right now. 
And I don't just like high fantasy, by the way. I really like his historical fiction. And um, I like nonfiction. I like memoirs if they're really good. So let me know what you all are reading in the comments. Okay, and I've got his ears done. listening to while I'm crocheting is podcasts. I love true crime podcasts and my favorite one is um, The Crime Weekly by uh, Derek Lavasser and Stephanie Harlow. I love Derek Lavasser and Stephanie Harlow. They are such a good duo. I'm so glad that they created their own podcast together and I absolutely love listening to that. So if you guys are into podcasts, let me know. What are you guys listening to? Drop my hook. That was really loud. <laughs> I feel like his eyes are way too far apart. And oh no, his ear is so lopsided. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this out and re-put it on because it looks really bad. <laughs> number one. I don't know. I don't love him, but he's done. All right. What's our time at? 20 minutes. Okay. Maybe I can make three of them if I hurry up. Let's make a gray mouse. Gray mouse, I think, will be cute. Although I already have a gray mouse. I think the gray mice might sell better because it's like more natural looking. There's some animals where it's like cuter if they're different colors. Like I have a pink leopard that everybody picks up or like mushrooms, I don't know, like teddy bears. Like those are all animals that make good like abstract colors. Like a purple teddy bear is really cute, but I don't know if a pink mouse is really cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna do gray and see how that turns out. super deadpan right now. I'm sorry for that. I do enjoy crocheting. I swear I'm having fun. I just always have RBF. together I may as well do like a little get to know me because I don't really have a lot of videos on my channel talking about who I am and what I like to do. Um, so obviously I like crocheting. That's a given. Um, I learned how to crochet when I was 14 or 15 and um, the first thing I ever made was like little headbands for the winter time and they were made out of super thick yarn and they were really really simple and they didn't keep you warm at all. They were so thin but that's the first thing I ever made. Um, and then I made a scarf and I made a little dog sweater, like a little Christmas Santa themed dog sweater for my dog. Um, my dog is 11. He's an old boy. And uh, yeah, those were the things that I made previously to starting selling plushies. And then once I got into plushies, I just 
I never looked back. Crochet has totally changed my life. Um, yeah, other than crocheting, I really like music. I love live music. I love going to concerts. Uh, I recently went to Nickelback, which was such a good concert, and Brantley Gilbert opened for them, and he was really good. Um, really, really, really hoping that Taylor Swift announces some Canadian dates because I am a diehard Swifty. I absolutely love her. I've been listening to Speak Now Taylor's version on repeat for the past week or however long it's been out. Um, I think it's been out for a week today, actually. It came out at midnight on Thursday last week. So I'm listening to that nonstop. Let me know what your guys' favorite vault track is from Speak Now. I think mine is Timeless. Or electric touch. I feel like electric touch, electric touch is, um, it's a little underrated. I think if it came out in 2010, it would be like such a banger. But because it's like 2023, I think a lot of people are kind of like they had higher expectations for Fall Out Boy. But I think it's so good. Like I really like it. It's very nostalgic feeling. Put in his eyeballs. This mouse is looking a little bit more like a mouse. <laughs> camping. Uh, my husband and I went camping last weekend with some friends and it was super fun. We went to a nice little lake and we have a tiny little boat that we brought and we did some water skiing and stuff which was super fun. I forgot how much work water skiing is. It's absolutely exhausting. I like I'm still sore. I can like barely move my arms. <laughs> so hard when you're an adult. crochet patterns right now. I have been loving all the mushroom crochet patterns. I feel like Instagram is on a total mushroom, mushy boy type of kick right now. Um, I mention them in almost every single one of my videos, but Ollie's Crochet and Cable by Canvas both have the cutest mushroom patterns, and so I've been making their stuff non-stop. Um, if you watch my other vlogs, you would know that a lot of my market prep is their patterns because I absolutely love them. selling any of these mice. They are all looking a little funny. <laughs> There's something about doing them really fast on video that I feel like the quality of them is not great. <laughs> Here's my second mouse. Should we go for purple or brown? Let's go for purple. <laughs> 37 minutes.
background, but I do have a new pattern coming out on Sunday as well. Um, they are the Lanky Friends, so this is one of them. She's a little flower gal. And then one of them is a little pumpkin. So, uh, this video should be up before Sunday. So, if it is, um, on Sunday, which is Sunday after July 13th, <laughs> I can't do math right now, um, I will have a new pattern up for some leggy friends. The other one is a mushroom. So if you guys are interested in that, and then I just put out this cat pattern, and last week I also put out a fox pattern. Um, and then the week before that I put out a 3-in-1 alien, and then a 2-in-1 tiger and leopard pattern. So I put out a ton of new patterns recently. If you guys are interested, I will link them all in the description below. Um, but I am wanting to know what kind of patterns do you guys want to see next, because I have an idea for a pig and maybe a deer, um, but I, I want to know what do you guys want to see. My uncle's been asking me to make a Bigfoot pattern for <laughs> probably like six months. So I need to, I need to probably do that one before I do any, anything else, but he doesn't want the pattern. He just wants a Bigfoot, but I do need to make one for him. <laughs> this one and then maybe get the body done of another one. So my battery just died but I didn't cheat I swear. We're at 48 minutes. that I've done. 5228. Oh my gosh, it's thundering so loud right now. Okay, I'm gonna start on a brown one, but we'll see. 52 minutes. I've got like seven minutes left almost, a little bit longer than that. Have you guys gotten a Threads account yet and do you like it if you have? I have Threads. Um, I do like it. It's more like a uh, a casual atmosphere and it's really similar to Instagram but instead you're just having conversations with everybody. Um, so I do like it. I like it more than Twitter. I never really got into Twitter. I was really into Twitter when I was like 15, 16 um, and then I just I fell off the wagon and I never got into it again but I do really like threads. Now the pressure's on again. I feel like I did at the beginning where I'm like, I have to get it done. My hook is so old, the one that I'm using, that it's like all the gold is rubbed off on it and it like makes my fingers black. 
I don't know why. It must be like the finish of the metal, but this needs replacing. I also, I can't find another hook that I like as much as this hook. This hook is just like the plain Jane. Uh, I think it's like Susan Bates or maybe it's Boyd. I don't know. But I've had it for years and I've tried so many other hooks, like ergonomic hooks, resin hooks, hooks with the squishies on them. I just, I don't like any of them. I only like this one. And um, I've tried clover. I don't like clover hooks. I don't know what it is. I just love this one style of hook, just the plain aluminum style. Um, if you guys are similar to me and you guys have a hook recommendation, I would love to hear it because I think I would really benefit from an ergonomic crochet hook, but for some reason they just slow me down and I can't get used to them. But this one is turning my fingers black and I can't crochet white with it anymore because it turns my projects black, so I have to get a new hook. Fifty-five ten. <laughs> One, two. I think this mice, this mouse might be the cutest mouse. I really like this color for a mouse, like a little field mouse or something. seconds left. Oh my gosh. I can do it. Gotta stuff the body. Oh my gosh, this one looks really bad. <laughs> His eyes look really funny. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be selling these guys. Or if they'll just be new little... Little yarn shelf displays. Oh my gosh, there's 30 seconds left. What? Where's my... I have to finish it! Where's my needle? 15 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna close this dang hole. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, the hole is shut. There's three seconds left. I did it, I did the whole body. Okay, so I finished three mice and one body. So three and a half mice. I'm happy with that, you know, I think that was good. This mouse kind of looks like a potato, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I did four mice, almost four mice. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. That was a ton of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and threads now at Yarnybox, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>